So the first thing I'm going to do here is just show you how to do a very basic bread stuffing. Okay. Okay. Now, the main ingredient here is we're using sprouted grain bread. Okay, so the reason we're doing that is because uh, sprouted grain actually has a lot of protein. So it's a complete protein, it's low glycemic, it's got a lot of fiber, it's actually good for you. I've tried a few bites, it's kind of hearty too. <laughs> it's Lindsay approved. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm going to start okay. here. Uh, I'm going to saute some onions, and I have some scallions and garlic, okay, and some celery if you want to pass me the rest of the ingredients. Okay, here you go. We got the We got bread. the bread. Where can you buy this bread? In the regular bread aisle? or um, You can buy it at like a Whole Foods type of store, but okay. I find that um, Publix is starting to carry it, Okay. like in their frozen food section. Mm. So you can actually buy it there, at, okay. at least at my Publix you can. Okay. So I'm just going to stir these around. Um, if you were doing this recipe and you weren't on television, you would let the vegetables cook for about seven minutes or so. Uh, but I'm going to add the bread in right now. Okay. And this is a very easy recipe. And from this, you can add, you know, sausage, liver. Some people like uh, almonds, raisins, whatever you want to add to this. But this is just your basic, good, this healthy is stuffing for you. There recipe. You go. Yeah. All right. So once you get all this nicely mixed in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper. And we're going to add moisture to this with a little organic chicken stock. Okay. Okay, you want to make sure that the chicken stock is nice and flavorful so that your stuffing is nice and flavorful. And how much should I add? Well, just add a little bit at a time until you see the bread kind of soaking it up. You don't want it too mushy, but you want it just enough so that, well, so that it looks like stuffing. And I think most people know what stuffing looks like. I think so. This is definitely better for you than the box kind. Yeah, definitely. And again, if you're using all organic ingredients, there's not going to be any preservatives in here. You know, we're not adding too much salt. This is actually good for you. And it's going to taste pretty good. There you go. Okay, win, so win. That's right. So I'm going to add a little more of this and just going to let the bread soak it up. Okay. Do you want it to be a little brown on the outside or, or how would you know when it's done? Just well, kind of soaks it up? It just kind of soaks it up. It looks like stuffing. And from this point, you can actually bake it for about half an hour at 350 or you can stuff uh, your turkey with it. Okay. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Right now I could stick it in a pan and bake it or I can stick it in a turkey. It's all done. There you go. And it's colorful too. So it's kind of appealing to the eye. Yeah. So convince the friends and family to eat the healthier stuffing. That's right. Now my favorite is the sweet potato casserole. You've got an alternative for uh, sweet potatoes, but uh, there's kind of a difference between sweet potatoes and yams. Actually, yeah, there is. Right? Um, sweet potatoes uh, have a lot of vitamins, they have a lot of minerals, a lot of fiber. They're actually good for you. Yams are just sugar. starch and sugar. So, you know, they're not the healthiest thing. They don't really provide you with any vitamins, any minerals. So you want to use sweet potatoes and not yams. Okay. Okay, and over here, um, I've cut half of the calories in that dish by just removing the molasses, the sugar, you know, the maple syrup, anything sweet. So that's actually a savory dish, meaning like salty. So I've cooked it with onions, garlic, herbs. So it's really tasty, half the calories of the regular uh, sweet potato casserole that you would have for Thanksgiving. But no marshmallows on this one. No marshmallows on this one. Okay, well that's a good option. And then mm -hmm. of course you need the mashed potatoes too. So that's what do right. we have up here? Well, up there is mashed potatoes and gravy, but they're practically carb free and very low uh, in calories. And what I've done there is actually, that's sweet um, mashed cauliflower. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it actually tastes pretty good. Uh, you can mash it just like you would mash regular potatoes, but it has no carbs and it has very little calories. And actually that gravy over there, I thickened it with uh, porcini and regular mushrooms. So it has no flour, it has no starches, uh, use fat-free organic beef stock. So it's actually, you know, mashed potatoes and gravy that's good for you and tastes pretty good. And you get your vegetable servings in there too <laughs> that's instead. Right. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, if, if someone is interested in, you know, getting some of these recipes, they're planning ahead for the next few weeks, where can they find these wonderful ingredients? Well, you can go to my website at tampabaychef.com. We have all the recipes from our segments on there. Excellent. And now next week, the biggest dish, of course, is the turkey. That's right. It can take forever, and it can be a huge process, but you've got some tips that we're going to share with our viewers to make it a little easier, right? Yeah, I'm going to be here next week. I'll show you guys how to do some easy turkey. Excellent. Well, we look forward to that. Thanks for coming by. Hey, you're very welcome. The critical swing states. What key points do the candidates need to hit? We take an exclusive look.